All right, good morning. I'm gonna do the contest 276. I didn't do this one last uh, last Saturday, so I'll plan on doing this one today and see what happens. Okay, here we go. Okay, divided string to groups of size K. Okay, size K groups. All righty. String. Yeah, hold on. 8.07 a.m. is my start. Okay. Okay, so we filled the last one. Okay, so chunks of K. So this will be our answer. She'll return. And then four. I is zero, I is less than N equals S size. Oh, wait, hold on. I. I plus equals K, right? K at a time. So auto T equals S substring zero to, or from I to I plus K. Let's see, I plus K is less than equal to N, less than N. There's your S thing equal to, right? Yeah. That. Okay. The length. I for the length of K. Let's see, and start in place. Place back. T. Okay, and then the very last one. If and step back. Dot size, or actually while, while the size is less. Then K and dot back dot push back the filling character C. That does okay. That looks right, right? Okay, and then the J at the end should put two X X's. That does not look right. While I is less than N. Okay, hold on. If I equals N, then what we can do is just return the answer here. Otherwise, we'll I'll pin the last thing onto here and dot place back. S steps. I for the remainder of N minus I. So I think that works. And push the filler on the back that. Oop, okay, hold on. I equals zero. While I plus K is less than N. I, I plus equals K. Oh, what's going on? Oops, it's quickly. Okay, that looks right. Remove the J and then there we go. Yay. Okay, so 807 to 811, about four minutes. Minimum moves to reach target score. You start with one, you want to reach T. Okay, so we can increment by one or double. And the minimum amount of moves to do that. Okay. All right, start at 812. See what happens here. Target, and then what is this? Max doubles? Most max doubles. Uh, 
Uh, I don't know. We'll just say it's K. It's fine. Let T be the target total. Let K be the maximum amount of doubles, right? Okay, so two operations, plus one or times two, right? And we start at start at I equals one or X equals one. How about Minimum reach uh, moves to get the target. Target is up to a billion. Max doubles is less than a hundred. Okay, so I'm go and then by value x. Okay. So I think we'll just do this recursively first, and we don't ever want x to be greater than the total because we never go backwards we only go forward so if t is if x exceeds t then we return infinity this is not where we want to go basically and n equals 29 plus 7. okay so then the two possibilities is uh oops, hold on x and then Okay, Here, let's just make these uppercase T and make this lowercase T one and then K. If T, hoop, it's our target. Okay, T, hoop, turn zero. Okay, that's our target. Otherwise, A equals. Go T plus one K. That's about increment. Otherwise, two times or, or T times two K minus one. And this is if K, if K. Otherwise, if we don't have any Ks, this would be infinity. Return them. Let's see the minimum. One plus the minimum of A and B. So as the recursive stack unwinds, we'll add one for each of those two possibilities. You can define this using the function. Hint, hint, hint. Okay. Uh oh. Five and zero. So what happened here? T plus one should be fine. Two times, oh, okay. K and T times two. Wait, no, no, no. The base case should catch that, right? It'll return infinity if we overshoot it. So five and zero. Total is five, it's zero. It should only follow this path. Plus one, plus one, plus one. So it returns zero. How is this possible? It just returned a dead new signal. It only gets bigger. Oops, K question mark, uh, K and T times two. What did I type in? Wait, no, 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 K, okay, hold on. Yeah, it's K is positive value. What the heck? T is one, K is K. How the heck is this possible? I don't know if I can spit this out or not. I am not seeing what's going on here. Ay, ay, ay. Let's see. Let's 
this is just a recursive function. There's one base case, t exceeds the target. t is equal to the target. Plus one, plus one, plus one. t plus one. Uh, let's just do the case A. It should just increment turn one plus A. No way. Really? T plus one. T is one, and then capital T is five. How does it not just invoke itself and then run into this base case? What the hell is going on? Fun go rules. Pass it by value. I guess I'm not passing anything by value here. Oh, T, I am passing by. Okay. I am passing in T. Ah, here. Lowercase T, uppercase T. What the heck is going on? K. Turn one plus a I still don't understand why this is not bottoming out. How is this possible that this doesn't bottom out? It just increments it by one. And then return zero. Like it should be one, two, three, four, five. Once it at five, how is it possible it's reading a memory address outside of that? What the heck? Okay, 8 19 a.m. after seven minutes. I'm completely clueless. <laughs> This is stupid, I don't know. Let's try this again, whatever, whatever. I must be missing something, right? Missing something basic. Okay, overlooking something basic. Let's try again in Python 3, whatever. <sighs> okay, T equals one, K equals K. All right, return go. If T exceeds that, return infinity. Inf, inf equals float inf. If T is equal to that, then there's no more moves left. That's the other base case, right? So A equals go, we increment by one. Same amount of K. B is we we have K, then we'll do instead of I T T plus one T times two K minus one if K else one plus the minimum A and B. Okay. Yeah, that's what I expected. I don't expect infinite recursion. What the hell? Uh Okay, two and 19 and two, 10 and four. 19, two, 10 and four. Okay, so those are the correct values. Now I just need to memoize it. So I don't TLE, large inputs. And let's see what happens. Oh, maximum recursion depth exceeded. Okay, this is a big number. Yeah, it does go up to a billion, so almost a billion. Okay.
basically it's a TLE. Okay, so top down TLEs, so I gotta go bottom up then, right? Okay, so how long did that take? I don't know how long that took. I was like, I stopped at 8.19 a.m. on the C++ solution to 8.22 a.m. About three minutes. Top down with memo to TLE. Okay, let's do bottom up. All right, start at 8.22 a.m. for bottom up. Okay, so let's start at the total one and go up or we can go down to one. Either way it works. Let's just follow the recursive stack explicitly. And then just return DP sub one is the final solution. And then DP will be our array. And let's see. Infinity. Times t plus one. Dp sub t is equal to zero, so that's our base case. Or Tn t minus one down to zero by negative one. Okay, so dp sub t equals a is uh, dp sub. Uh oh, I need a k as well. Hold on. T plus one. Oh crap. So I can't have a billion times. Oh, okay. So this is gonna, okay. This is the bottom up. First attempt will run out of memory. I, we need mem opt since then it goes 29. Wait a hold on. Okay, so we could do bottom up, but this is stupid, right? Okay. All right, hold hold up. Uh, bottom up is, is is stupid. Overkill, right? Remember, remember to keep it simple. Keep it super simple. Keep it super simple. Right, if we do bottom up, we can do this. It's good practice, but it, I know it's going to TLA, and I can see that it's pretty obvious we want to do the double as much as we can, right? Until we get to there and then single it up after that, right? Okay. Much, right, much more simple game plan is to just simply double T until we cannot double T any further then take cost of plus one increments from there, right? I mean, that works. Okay, let's do this again, uh, 826. With the new game plan, this should be doable more simply, I believe. It moves. Okay. Let's do this. T equals one. Cost. Okay. Cost of zero. T equals one. Okay. Okay. Or maybe it's just here. Let's just keep that. Let's just divide then, right? You can multiply by two or you can divide by two, right? Let's just divide by two until we get down to one or subtract. Okay. So while t evenly divisible by two exceeds or less than or equal to, or it's greater than or equal to one, right? Then increment the cost and t 
by by equals two. Or I should just do is t. Let's shift it. That work right? Shift right by one. I don't know. Something like that. Shift left and divide by two is the same thing. Okay, and then return cost plus the remainder. Uh, bow. From one to T. T minus one. Not quite right. Oh, I didn't take into account max doubles. Okay, so while K and cost plus equals one, and then K minus equals one. I guess this is a logarithmic function, right? There's lots of optimization. Use log T. This is basically how many times can I divide Log base two, log two, right? Divide t by two until it is less than or equal to one. Okay, let's see what happens here. Okay, so four is correct for the first one, five is not correct for the second one. Uh, let's see what's going on here. Okay, so we can divide 19 twice, right? So 19 divided by two is equal to 10, right? Uh, okay, so that doesn't work because of integer division. So if t is, I guess about to check the remainder too as part of the cost maybe. 10 with remainder one. 10 divided by two is in five with remainder zero. So those are two doubles that we can do and then Five minus one equals four. One, two, and then, huh? No. Double increment, double. All right, so there's four increments and two doubles, right? Three, four. Oh, there's five increments. Oh, okay, five. Okay. Oh, the remainder one. Okay, minus one equals four plus remainder one equals five. Right. Okay, so seven moves total. Okay. Cost. Plus equals one plus T modulus two. Cost, okay. That looks right. Let's see if we can do the big one. 45, it seems reasonable. Yay. Okay, so much better idea to say, hey, I was going down the wrong path, back up and come up with a better game plan. Six minutes isn't too bad, but total 819 to 
about 12 minutes, no, 13 minutes. Uh, that's not too bad, I guess. Kind of a tricky one. Anyhow, uh, do you want to optimize this? Maybe this is a logarithmic function. Well, eh, whatever. I'll come back to it later. Solving questions of brain power. Okay. Check the start. Uh, okay, so I worked in C, Python 3. Let's do JavaScript next. Okay, start at 8.33, let's see what happens. Okay, looks like we've got an array of questions. Let's read the problem statement. Okay. Order zero, skip or solve. Okay. You <laughs> know the brain power for it. Eh? Really unable to solve each of the next brain power I questions. If you skip question I, you can make the decision on the next question. For question zero is solved, you earn three points, but you have to skip the next two. Instead, if you question zero, and you solve question one, you earn four points, but you have to skip the next three. Two and three. I don't know, solve each of the next brain power sub I questions. Solving questions zero and three, zero, one, two, three. Okay, do that one, you can skip the next two. Okay, so I'm thinking the overall game plan is this is a decision making with multiple states of so DP. And we can start with top down, which will uh, TLE, right? Since n equals one and five, I think it'll TLE. But yeah, it's a good start. And then after that, um, <clears throat> so after that, form bottom up, right? So bottom up. Okay. Pretty sure I got this, but let me just copy and paste it so I can read it easier if I need to. Pretty sure. So the game game plan is to consider, right? Consider each possibility once. I top down with memo will be a good start. For each I question brain power. We optimally choose from all possibilities. Okay, so we want to, um, goal is to maximize the points cost, score, whatever you want to call it, right? Okay, so for each item, we have points and then skip. Do cost and skip, because those are nice four letter things, right? So earn cost and then skip next. Our next um, possibility built upon that. Okay, that's pretty much the game plan. Let's let's start coding it. Okay, eight thirty three to eight thirty six. About three minutes to come up with a game plan. Let's start the implementation. Eight thirty six. Okay. And it'll be the cardinality of the input ray. Okay, go will be our optimized function. Uh, start at the first ith item and then 
that's it. That's all we have to keep track of is the current ith item. Okay, so if i exceeds or equal to end, and that's the base case where, okay, there's nothing there, you can't score anything. Otherwise, we'll consider to take it or skip it, right? Take or skip. Take, skip. Uh, there are two possibilities, right? Let's say A, oops, but starting to get back to C plus plus land, but A equal possibility where we go. Take it, right? We accumulate the cost. Sub I plus go. Uh, oh, hold on. Let cost skip equal A sub I. I have an earn. Okay, these are our earnings. Eh, I don't know. Whatever. Cost earn. Yeah, same thing. Go I plus skip. Otherwise, that's with, right? with or without, right? Go I plus one. Return the maximum of A and B. Okay, and this is what we'll memoize on the way back. Hold on, zero. That doesn't look right. I want the maximum of A and B each a sub i item cost and skip return go i equals zero i plus skip zero one two oh plus one one two and we'll go to that one next so what's going on here why is it zero the heck I plus one cost is three skip is two three plus go zero plus skip one two plus one is this guy Actually, three plus two is five. Otherwise, do four or four. So it should be five. What the heck? Ah, man. I'm missing something basic here. I'm a hard time with my recursion this morning. A, B, go, go. I to A and B. Yes, the workers. Ah, oh, totally. Dang it. I is exceeding in. The heck, man. Dang it. Okay. To wake up. Okay. This one should be seven. Okay, so that looks like a correct solution. 8.41, about five minutes for correct solution. Solution, I think, okay. So I think it's a correct solution. Without a memo, it'll still TLE, I expect with the memo, and then we'll go to bottom up. Okay, this will be our map, which is our memo. <clears throat> if not m dot has, Oh, just eyes all we're gonna memoize. All right, m dot set i to that. Oop. All right, and then return it dot get. Uh, right. Okay, there's a memoize solution. It's expected to TLE. Ooh, I'm surprised it didn't TLE. Okay, whatever. Uh, question two is way harder than this one, I think. <clears throat> Quite a bit trickier. Uh, but anyhow, let's do this one bottom up. And so that TP equals array of minus one. So I got space for the base case. Fill with zero, turn DP sub zero. And we can follow the cursive stack unwinding explicitly as well here. So we can set DP sub n 
So zero is our base case, and then go from that down, and then skip. Oh, skip actually needs to be in the other direction, right? From left to right. Okay, so we better set the base case. Let me think. Okay, so we, we start at zero, we go to in and return there, come back, but the skips go to the right. How can you anticipate skips coming back though? You can't. It has to follow the rec forward recursion, not the back recursion. Otherwise, who knows how much we have to skip, right? Skip goes this way. All right. Oh, yeah, we can do that. Okay, I think it, I think it works. Maybe I'm overthinking this, right? Let's go. Okay, so. Here, let's write this down. Our game plan for bottom up, then uh, follow recursive oops, recursive stack unwinding. And right, formulate maximal solutions upon Previously seen. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so we explicitly follow the workers stack of one. It should be fine, right? Okay, I believe so. I yeah, don't overthink it, just keep it simple. All right, so that's that. And then four. I go in minus one, down to zero. Okay, so let cost skip. A sub i, okay, so the workers is tax unwinding, cost plus, okay, so next would be, let's do this, let j equal i plus skip plus one, cost plus, if j is less than n, then we're going to say, DP sub J, optimal solution at that, which you must skip towards. Otherwise zero, right? It goes beyond the scope of N. Then B is the case where we skip, but we don't skip, right? We take the optimal, previous optimal solution. G P sub i equals the maximum of A and B. Right? Okay. Uh oh. Oops. Uh question mark. Okay, question ternary operator, right? Okay. Yeah, that looks good. Hey. Okay. Let's bottom up. Top down bottom up and then oh I didn't check how long that took. Okay, so eight thirty three, eight forty five total. Total H33 to 845, about 12 minutes. So that's pretty good. That's cool. Okay, last one. The infamous Q4, that always gets me. <laughs> All right. Yeah, sometimes Q4 is actually easier than a lot of the other ones uh, here, anyhow. But it, I think it's psychological for me. I always miss this thing. <laughs> okay, I gotta believe myself, right? Q4 is totally psyched up. I'm right, psyching myself up. All right, here we go. Remember, keep it simple. Keep it super simple and stay positive, right? I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. Okay, let's read the problems here. Here we go. I have any computers, zero, three, minus one, array of batteries. Okay, in computers simultaneously, given those batteries, unless you insert at most one battery into each computer. Remove a battery from the computer, insert it another battery in any number of times. 
Moving and inserting process take no time. Okay, there's no cost for moving and inserting. Batteries cannot recharge. Return the maximum number of minutes you can run all in the computer simultaneously. N equals two and batteries is 333. Initially, insert battery zero into the first computer. One, okay. One into the second computer. That's what I'm trying to maximize the number of minutes you can run all in the computer simultaneously. Why would you not want to look in the third computer? Battery one can still run for one minute. At the end of the third minute, battery zero is drained. And you need to remove it from the first computer and insert battery one instead. Oh, we have two computers. Okay, I thought we had three computers. What? Okay, we have two computers and three batteries. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, so this is looking kind of like a greedy algorithm, or I could just maybe. Yeah, so it's 25. We're looking for a near linear algorithm. All right, since n equals 25, we are looking for a near linear algorithm. Initially insert, okay, so how many, we have two computers and four batteries now. How do you optimally choose which battery to use? Like, there's no one computer that's better than the rest. Each computer has equal value. So it's like, every minute we have to keep track of the cost. And then we need maximum number of minutes. Okay, so what is the bottleneck? The bottleneck is the minimum battery, right? So we can add these onto each other. If there's only one battery, can we? <coughs> this is six and three. Hold on, I think we can do some pre-processing, right? We we have two computers and three batteries. Then we can combine the batteries. Ooh, oh, yeah, using a heap, I think, right? Heap, using a heap. Ah, a heap for even distribution. Something like that, right? Even distribution is like that. And we want it as even as possible, right? We want the average over all of them to be the best possible. Like the so the 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 bottleneck is the minimum value after this distribution, right? Um, optimized distribution. So here we have three plus three is six for one, and then three. Okay, so the smallest bucket is three. So that's the limiting factor. Can we, hold on. What is there saying after two minutes? What? Oh, it has them. I see. Okay. And reuses the. Well, does it have to do that? That complicated? I don't know. Three and three. You can consume the whole three. I don't want to consume the whole three, is the deal, right? Okay, so this is a little bit more complicated than I really truly thought, maybe, right? What if batteries was our Q? What if we just swapped them each minute? Let's just do a simulation. All right, let's see, we have two computers and three batteries, each with three charge, charge or cost or whatever. 
cost or whatever that is, right? Once it's zero, it's useless. What if we round rob them every time? All right, so after zero minute, we have three, three, three. After minute one, minute one, basically what we'll do, take maximum K, where K is equal to the amount of computers. And decrement each by one. All right, we have, we do this two, two, and then three. Second minute, we have two, one, and two. Let's say the max, hold on. So the max is on the right, how about pop off the top of the heap, top of heap. It, it doesn't matter, I guess. Uh, top of the heap to the left. I guess it doesn't matter the order in this place, right? We'll do two, one, and then three. Third minute, we have one, one, and then two. Fourth minute, we have zero, one, one. And that's the end. So popping off the heap, is the logarithmic operation, right? Popping best two from heap is log in. So n times log n overall uh, should be okay, right? Should be okay to avoid Tilly. All right, let's see what happens here. It's k at a time, k computers, batteries. So if batteries, Okay, n is at least that. Okay, so now we're coming to the case where we can never power on the computers. Okay, let's do this. Okay, so 846 to 855, reason about a game plan in about nine minutes. Game plan. And let's do the implementation. All right, implementation starts at 855. And we're gonna do this in Kotlin. Okay, so we need a queue for our queue. You forget that this thing has a constructor. I don't think it does. I don't think Q has a constructor, but I forget. Um, link list, list of anything I want to stick on the Q initially. Yes, I want to stick all of A on there. What this A dot two list. Okay, so while Q has some size, wait, no, no, no. We'll just want to just always attempt to pop them off, right? So star A equals Q dot pull, B equals Q dot pull. So these are the two I want these to be maximal values. Oh, it's a priority queue, right? Priority queue. Priority queue. Mm -hmm. I take the top two. Okay, actually, to do, I'm, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure this queue is a minimum priority queue. 
that means uh, either a um, ride uh, custom comparator to the PQ or place values into min Q as negative values. And that's what we do for Python 3, right? Okay. Python 3. Uh, okay, so anyhow, we'll have to fix this up. Uh, maximum runtime, okay. Time is zero. I guess it's the count of cycles or fine, right? Okay. If A equals zero or B is zero, then we can break out. Otherwise, if these units are legit, then we do minus A minus size B. Or actually, let's do Q dot push minus A, Q dot push minus B. Okay, then can we have a battery with zero? No, okay. Okay, let's look at this. Um, Kotlin priority Q with custom comparator. Actually, let's just look at the constructor real quick. Uh, priority Q, oh, it does have a constructor, okay. Priority Q with a comparator, okay. So we'll actually do this. Var Q equals priority Q with a custom comparator. Okay, so it's gonna be integers that are in here. Oops. Oops. Then we want it to be a max Q, so do E dot compare to A. Okay, that looks right. Let's see what happens. Should be four. Push is add. Time. We're looking for a long time. No pointer exception. Uh oh. Oh, I didn't add anything to the queue. Oops. Okay. Uh, so. For x in a q dot add x. Okay, stick it in my priority queue. Okay, that's four. That's right. And then two in this guy. Oops. Okay. That output should be two. Four and two. Okay, that looks legit. Let's see what happens. Come on, come on, come on. Get out and push. Oh no. Okay, wrong answer. Too much time we have left in the contest. We have 36 minutes. Okay, so we still have enough time to fix this. Okay, 855 to 901. Okay, about six minutes. Uh, six minutes for a wrong answer. Let's see what happened here. See if we can fix it up. Got about 30 minutes to fix it, so it's doable. Input, output is 14. Okay, so my answer is too good. My answer is too good. Runtime for three computers. Okay, so we have 10, 10, 5, 3. Okay, so the maximum two or three. Oh, I need to cube that pull for three, not just two. Okay, so it's dynamic based on this guy's size. Okay, so K, uh, based on K, okay. Okay. So do bar 
these are the batteries we will take, right? Mutable list of integers. Four. Zero until K. So we want to do this K times. Right, basically take the top. Okay, so Q dot pull. Let's pull that out. Let's just do this, right? Take dot add, Q dot pull. So take k of them at a time. Oh wait, now I want to check for if any of them are zero, right? If x is equal to zero, then we turn time. Turn negative one in this case. Okay, so then not zero, then we do. Dot add x for x and take q dot add minus x. Okay. Uh oh, that you cannot be reassigned x minus one anymore. Go. Underscore is not cool. Okay, whatever. Try. It's not used, so. One, two, and then, oops, hold on. The one I got wrong should be eight instead of 14. Eight, it's okay, that looks good. Let's see what happens. Now I think it's gonna TLE, because K can be big, right? So this is a, quadratic operation on top of logarithmic. Okay, yep, so that's expected, TLE, okay. TLE is expected here because it's O of N squared, which is quadratic times log N. Okay, so the key question then is how to improve this runtime to N times log That's the key question. Okay, uh, let me take a break. I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, I'm back here. Okay, let's see how much time we got left. We got, we still got 31 minutes. So, I mean, this is doable. Don't get all negative and down on yourself. All right, this is how the cookie crumbles sometimes. Okay, so how to reduce this run time? 906. Okay. Mm, let's see. So we're taking k at a time, reducing them by one, and stick them back in. So how can I make that more efficient? Can I completely consume the entire battery? Does that make sense? Consume that? That'd be three. 
No, it never makes sense to consume the entire battery, right? Because then if you use that whole thing, that's a poorly chosen way of using it. <laughs> Right, you can swap them out and you get another extra minute. I wonder if there's a formula or something. Mm. Crazy way of doing this. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know how how to optimize this offhand. We'll come back and upside, but back, let's come back and upsolve. All right, all right, for now, we can um, solve the first three again. In other languages, right, let's just do that now. All right, that'd be cool. Because we're dividing into k substrings, like k with one left over. And it's really verbose in C. Uh, I think in Python there's a there's a function that does this for us actually. Split word into k chunks. Pretty sure this is done for us. Our int character. <coughs> String. The string. Looking for functions on string. Template. That's what I want. Capitalist. Oops. Max split. Split lines. Starts with split title. Let me look at Stack Overflow. Let's see, every int character. No. No, no, no. Wrap? Is that what I want? Wrap? Is this the one I'm looking for? Wrap then? Okay, me wrap. Let's see. Oops, wrap SK. Bill? What? Oh, Phil. Oops, I didn't need that accent. I thought it was a typo. Wrap is not defined. Oh, okay. Look at this wonders. Sliced grouper. This is why I was looking at iter tools. I think this is the group, right? No grouper, no iter tools. Uh, I don't know if any of those are good solutions or tools. 
I'm pretty sure you could just group these things. Chains, components, group by, is it group by? No, maybe not. Product permutations, no. Group five. No, I don't want that. Pairwise. Ooh, a pairwise iterable. I like that. Repeats. My map. Hmm, okay, maybe there isn't something like this in Python. I could have sworn that we could group it into chunks. Isn't this is it, isn't it? Yeah, grouper. Okay. That's like, dude, pretty sure this is this. Grouper. All right, so return grouper SKX. All right. I think that works. Let's see. Grouper is not defined, but it's, it's iter tools. All right, iter tools. Iter tools dot grouper. Iter tools has no attribute grouper. But Oh, wow. right. oh, more iter tools. Okay, Heard more iter tools already. Oops, not this one. I want to go with this one. Okay, so we could just implement this then, right? Return iter s times k. Zip longest, zip longest, X. String, join. Is that right? It's supposed to return an array of strings. Oh, hold on. That? String array, what grouper fill value? I think that's explicitly mentioned that fill value. What's going on? What's going on? Zip longest args. Ugh. What is this? What's coming out of this thing? Array of these things. Zip, what is zip longest? Zip longest return. Zip longest. It yields the people. Okay. Okay. 
might be go through an iterator then. I don't know. Iterable? List minus iterable. Turn first in items of iterable list as a list. Take yeah, just take them all. all right, okay. Take I don't know how to do this Python. Three, I want to do iterable to a list. Turn iterator to a list. Ah, okay. List your iterator? Oh, okay. List to that. Ugh. Uh, list uh, what is this? That was a list of strings. STR iterator object. Chunk for Chunk in this word. Nope. List chunk. List chunk in. I don't know. Nope. Well, oh, that's not working. Oh, star. Star work. The spread operator, right? Ah, uh, man. Iterator, iterator, iterator. Uh, on iterators. Are my tuple next? Hmm. Sure, iterator object. What the hell is this? Like an iterator of iterators? Next, X. Tuple object is not an iterator. X the tuple. Uh, the longest. This is taking me like way longer than <laughs> it should. Uh, tip longest with the fill value. Pretty sure there's an easier way to do this in Python, but whatever. It's taking forever. Okay, return the answer of each of these chunks, answer that depend T. I plus equals K. If 
I is less than NRI equals N, return the answer. Otherwise, we will add the last thing onto N so append. Another string, which is the leftovers of S sub I to N non inclusive plus the filler. X times what's left over. N minus I. So you can do this. Okay, and then put the J. Show J X X. J X X. Okay, that looks legit. Uh oh. How many ends you should add on to the end of this thing? That's not quite right. Seven, eight, nine, zero, one, two, three. So it's this chunk ending here. Oops. Zero through seven. And then we have this one. One, two, three, four, five. N equals 13, Y equals eight. We wanna add on how many at the end? Three, right? So we'll have five characters, right? One, two, three, four, five, and then we want three more. And I'm adding six more. X times I is less than N. <clears throat> Have to fill in the rest, basically. Chunk plus N minus I plus how many are left over? How many left over in minus I plus K? Think in minus I plus K eight. Add an X on the end. Three. Standardified value of types. Oh. What? <laughs> Your answer. Uh, what?
How the hell is this possible? I plus K minus N is how many go over is how many I need, right? How many go over is how many I need. J here. This be JXX. Right, JXX, and then this one, not quite right. What? This is, I don't even think I copied and pasted it right. <laughs> All right, whatever. One, zero, one, two, one, two, three. Oh, I must have chomped off something, but yeah, it should be this guy, which is the first chunk, and then the second guy, right? Sort that a pinned. Where I is at. I is at eight, which is expected. N is 13. Just to pin this chunk without that, right? That's not working. If I is less than N. Leftovers. Ay, ay, ay. This is taking me a while forever. Okay, seven minutes left in the contest. Ay, ay, ay. This leftovers. Okay. Why isn't it being appended? I to N? S sub I to N. It's J. There is no leftovers for the other one. Eight. because I did not even copy and paste the input correctly. Okay, so that is right then, right? Ugh. Okay, we made it. We did it. I had a K here. We don't need this T. I plus equals K. This should be so much easier in Python. Yeah. All right, whatever. Oh, what a mess.
Yeah, that works, right? And three JavaScript Kotlin. And nope. All right, got my Python. All right, my JavaScript down. Fill the X. All right, and go to length. Zero. Is in turn answer formulate the answer. Okay, so hold on. And uh, to push slice I for link. I wonder if slice works or not. String a equals list of s a dot slice. Oh, JavaScript array slice. Slice. Where is the other parameter end? In non inclusive. In non inclusive. Okay. If i is with n, then and it's a push. Create this string. Data slice i all the way to the end combined with character x dot fill. How many characters is the same thing? Right, JavaScript. Um, String fill. Head start string. String from character. Uh, uh, I want to create a string of repeated oh yeah repeat repeat it's string dot repeat that's right uh okay, string dot repeat right x oh, x dot repeat how many times do you want to repeat this thing dollar sign how many k exceeds n by right I plus K. List is not defined. Split already. Okay, and then I just need to join this back to string. Slice dot join. All right, I should do and dot map there. Next, I join. There we go. Uh, nice. Wait, hold on. Turn the answer. I need to join these things back into arrays, right? Oh, uh, this one is. String. 
Muhammad supported values. Dot slice. Dot join. Right. Dot join. Tick. And then this one. Dot join. Tick. That looks cool. Yay. Okay, it's pretty straightforward now that I've done it three times. Do the fourth time here. Call it a day. Close this to length. Return the answer. The answer is uh, our ands equals mutable list of string uh, to array. Okay, while well, i plus k is less than or equal to n, do and dot add. <clears throat> S dot slice. If there's a string slice and cut one or not. Slice. Okay, yeah, it does have that. Okay, cool. Slice from I until I plus K, not inclusive. Slice it and I plus equals K. And trunks of K. If I is in, then we'll add the last thing onto it. I start slice I until N combined with the repeated value of Cotlin. Cotlin repeat char to create string. Repeat. Oh, okay, it's repeat just like, cool. Repeat just like JavaScript. So x dot. Oh, it's character though. So this is a string. Char sequence dot repeat. Char sequence. Our sequence interesting. Oh wait, char sequence is X. X dot repeat N minus I plus K. Char sequence. Huh. Char array. Network to array to type array exception negative array size exception negative array size exception oops this minus n that's how many it goes over in by right okay cool 
Yay. Okay, the contest has ended. Yeah, thanks for watching. Catch you next time.